congratulations, Anthony. You were nominated for Best Narrator this year. Yes. What, uh, how did you find out on the nominations today? We were watching the live stream for the announcement. We knew our category wasn't going to be broadcast. So after they finished that, we were heartbroken that Jane and Gina didn't get nominated. We kept refreshing the page for the full list. CBS International tweeted a congratulatory tweet to me, and that's how we found out. That's top notification on the computer. Yeah. That and that's exciting. a tough category. There's a lot of well-known folks in that category. It really is, yes. I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing Peter Coyote run, because he's you know, a legend and icon. So, you know, one of the, if every narrator is coming up, he's the guy to have a look up to. And how did this even come to you, to do the part? Well, I've been doing voiceovers now for almost 10 years, and it's, every day we get auditions via email. I report from home, and it was just another audition that day that came that morning. And I was a little hesitant because the premise was so far out there. But after reading it, I realized how brilliant it was. I recorded it, sent it back. About a week later, my agent, Anna at SPV, says, uh, you got the part. Yeah. A big hit for CW. A big hit for CW. We can pull the ratings, which I don't really get too caught up in, but it's something to quietly celebrate. Yeah. Well, good luck on uh, Emmy night. Thank you so much for the to it. It's going to be the best date night ever. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, Ralph, in our, one of our editors, interviewed Gina a few weeks ago right. and interviewed uh, your creator. Yes. Uh, so we, we, we've been all over the show. Yes, I really appreciate this. Well, I see it from the very beginning, so I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Meeting you. You too.